uh, thank you very much for being here tonight. It's been an incredible couple months, and the last week has been pretty insane as well. And I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you, uh, my friends, who have worked so hard to help us get to this point. This is not a victory. This is a halfway point. Um, there's much more to do, and I can't wait to make sure that we make our city a better place with your help in the future. Um, number one, I want to thank you, the citizens of Jacksonville. My heart's desire is to serve you. It always has been, and I will do that until the day I die. I, you can see Rebecca and the kids up here uh, tonight. Um, my mom's over here, and uh, so proud of you, Mom and Dad, for the faith that you instilled in me and the work ethic that you've given me. Um, I hope that I make you guys proud every day. And, Rebecca, there is no greater warrior than you. And obviously, our share, our great sheriff, is with us tonight. And I, I gotta tell you, we, we can get it up for TK Waters tonight. Yeah. Yeah. TK and Robin have been a blessing to us. They've been friends to us. And I would tell you, with what we've gone through over the last two months, there's no way I would be standing here at this podium if it weren't for TK Waters. Oh. I also want to thank Al Ferraro for stepping into the arena, elevating the conversation, and offering so much for the conservative cause in Jacksonville. I want to thank our team. It's an incredible team. Um, the volunteer team and the paid team. I've never been around people that believed in a mission so much. And what I would tell you, what we're going to do over the next 56 days are going to be incredible. Thank you so much, team. I know you may find this hard to believe. Last week, we hit 9,000 doors in Jacksonville, Florida. We knocked on more than 70,000 doors in total and reached over 120,000 voters. That's real voters at their doors every day hearing what they believe Jacksonville should be in the future. And what I've learned is standing on your front porches is that no one works harder and what's more for our city than you, the hardworking taxpayers of Jacksonville. Decisions are being made in Tallahassee and Washington and in our courtrooms across the country that will impact our way of life. And Jacksonville has a clear choice to make leading into the next election. Who will lead our city through these extraordinary challenges and unprecedented opportunities? Will we elect a mayor who will stand with our brave men and women in uniform to make Jacksonville safer? Or we as Jacksonvillians go down the pathway of San Francisco and New York? We have to ask ourselves these questions. Will we elect a mayor who will stand with Governor Ron DeSantis to keep Florida free? Yes. Or will, will we embrace the policies of the left that punish hardworking taxpayers? Ask yourself that question. Will we elect a mayor who will stand with the hardworking families and fight for access for opportunity for every child in every neighborhood? Or will we give into the low expectations of government knows best? No, we will not. Here are, thank you. Here are my priorities. Number one, we will make Jacksonville safer. Yeah. 
we will put more cops on the streets and make sure they have the resources they need to keep your neighborhoods safe. We will. Seven months ago, we kicked off this campaign in the workshop of a trunking company on the west side of Jacksonville. We did. <laughs> west side. <laughs> That night, I promised each of you that together we would take on Jacksonville's critics who believe that we're destined to be okay instead of destined to be great. Tonight, we celebrate. We can celebrate tonight, but it's just tonight. Tomorrow, the work continues because like you, I believe Jacksonville is worth fighting for. I believe that we can have success at our port and, part and protect our crown jewel, the St. John's River. We can strengthen our public schools and foster choice to meet the needs of our students. We can love our people and we can fight crime at the same time. We can grow jobs and prepare the infrastructure for our future. We can create a world-class public amenities and perform the basic nuts and bolts of government. Ladies and gentlemen, we can and we will serve the diverse needs of our communities today and build toward the future of what we know Jacksonville can be. I love each and every one of you. I will serve you till the day I die. Let's go win this next race. Thank you very much. Thank you.